Hi, Mark. Nice Hello. to meet you. How was... Um, did you jump at the chance of coming back for more of Mr. Literally Popper? Literally jumped. I literally <laughs> jumped. I physically leapt off the floor. How do you go about creating a character like Mr. Poppy? He's unique. Well, he actually, um, he came from lots of uh, hanging around in the back of classrooms. Uh, and then I taught a lesson with Debbie way, way before Nativity was, became Nativity. She works really organically. And the character comes from my father. My father's real name is Desmond Poppy. Um, he was adopted and I used a bit of him as a child and things that I knew about him and um, and then slowly worked on that and then gradually you kind of fill the character out and it becomes a character and then you pop it into situations and see what happens. And what's Mr Poppy, what's different from Mr Poppy in Nativity 2 than from Nativity? We meet Mr Poppy in Nativity 2 in a bit bit of a bad place really because um, he he's quite, because he's a bit of a child at heart, he's quite sad that People are just passing through his life. Uh, teachers are passing through. Children are about to his class that he taught in Activity One are now going to leave the school, and he doesn't feel like he's got a friend. So you meet him at a real time of despair, and he is given an ultimatum by his auntie, the, the headmistress, to make it work with a new teacher, which is uh, Mr. David Tennant, who stood here on my right, um, and Mr. Peterson, and I have to make it work with him, and, it, and it's and it's all about. But his shoes don't fit, which was trying to find a friend, I suppose, and um, trying to make but, uh, a connection with someone um, before he loses the chance to ever connect with anybody. And what was the experience like of making the movie? Because this time you're on the road a lot more. Yeah. There's, there's, if anything, even more children, animals, everything. Yeah, less. It, it was a lot more of a kick something scramble. Forgotten what that other word is. Don't know where this is going out. And it could be in front of children. Um, but yeah, it was because it was it was a uh, true cause and effect. Because you're filming a road movie essentially. You really are. The first film we were in a school. So if there was a moment perhaps where the director was to go, oh gosh, you know what we're missing? We're missing a little scene with a child that will link this bit of storyline. We can go and pick that up. But when you're on the road, as soon as you've left that location, you're then moving. On. So, you, it really is, and for an actor, it's, fan, it's fantastic because you're you're going through the journey logically. So you're never having to do that thing you do in scripted single camera work where you're preempting what's coming and working out a scene that's five scenes down the line. You're just letting it out. And we spoke to uh, Ben Wilby before, and he said you're as mad off camera as you are on it. How do you, how do you plead on that one? I think I'm a bit boring. <laughs> I much prefer you know hiding behind a character. Um, not, not totally boring, but I don't think I'm that mad. Maybe on set, because when you're on set, the character it kind of infuses your life when you're you know when it says cut. You st still with the kids. It's when the children are around. You want to keep the character alive. You don't do, you really, do you really enjoy that work involved with children? Love working with children. Children are the most instinctive, uh, honest, open hearted creatures on the planet. And we can learn so much from them because we grow up and we become adults and we forget what it is to play and what it is to truly engage in the moment that we're in. We're spending too much time worrying about what's coming or what's just gone. And I think staying in the moment. <laughs> Adults can learn a lot from and children do it just automatically. That's amazing. Thanks a lot for speaking to me, Mark. Thank you.